So how do you know you're slipping? Huh? How do you know that you're slipping from the ways of God? Well, to me, according to the word, the first indicator is uncleanness. That's the first thing. And order. So when my house I get a messy, when the trunk of my car start getting messy, when my shed start getting messy, I'm saying, you know, I'm slipping. Because one of the things that most people don't even, I, matter of fact, I don't know when I heard the last time a preacher preached this, but one of the things that Jesus, when he came, one of the first spirits that he ever cast out was the spirit of uncleanness. It was unclean thinking, unclean thoughts, and there's a spirit of it. And he cast that thing out. Yes, he cast out diseases, and he healed the sick and the lame. He did that too. Amen. He did that too. He was a very, he was a multi-function God. Amen. And he can hit every areas in our life. But one of the things is, I walk around the house and I look at it, and if the area is, is unclean and un, and spotted up, I start to tidy it up, man. My wife said, "Oh, I get into this mood, and I start throwing stuff away, or giving stuff away." or fixing it. And so, today, look around your house. Look in the trunk of your car. Is it all jacked up and jumbled up? Well, maybe it needs a good cleansing because Satan has a way to hide in the crumbs. He has a way to hide in the filthy corners and the closets, waiting for his time or opportunity to pounce. So go to your microwave, clean up all up and leave the top and take the type out because you know your microwave is all jacked up and nasty. Get your vacuum, amen, and before you start vacuuming the rugs, clean out your vacuum cleaner, amen. Take the little cancer off and this filters on in it and shake it off and clean it out because all you're doing is having that foul bacteria blown back into your room, so clean it off. And you actually can take that canister and hit, hit it with some water, amen, and clean the floor and move the refrigerator and get behind there and, you know, get behind the stove and underneath your bed and then take your curtains and open it up and let the light, really, the light of God, UV rays, hit your house because light can hit things that you cannot. And 99.9% .9 of all germs die underneath the the, the sunlight of God. Amen. And so check yourself in this area. I know you said, well, this is kind of different for a preacher to talk about, but I found out that the filthier your house is, the more you have backslidden from the things of God. And it don't take money because God has given us water and water breaks down anything. Water and elbow grease. Amen. And clean your car for pig's sake. Clean your car, man, and the trunk and the closets and put your shoes in order because it is the little foxes that destroy the vine. And I know you want a worldwide ministry and I know you want to be out, but you know, if you're faithful of the little, God will, God will make you ruler over much.